and so we we end up talking but um and we we're friends first because we were seeing different people but we became friends which is also something i recommend mm-hmm. you know you don't need to jump into a romantic relationship yeah you really don't and especially if you again that kind of helps having god number one in your life if you have god number one in your life you realize that it's not about you're not trying to just find someone to be a kissing partner you mm-hmm. know you're not trying to find the physical stuff you're really trying to find someone who can be there for you and yeah. be a partner in your journey and your mm-hmm. walks in faith together and be together and find that connection in faith. And Emmy, as soon as we end up knowing each other for a long time, it ended up where I was single, she was single. And we, again, we continue to let it grow, our friendship. And then we went into, well, we want this to be a thing. Right. And to be official. But that was the first thing I told her. I said, Listen, I, I need to tell you this. This is weighing on my heart, but I need you to understand. I, I want this to continue, but God's got to be number one. Yeah. I can't. I God has plans for me. I want to do his work. I want to serve my Lord and Savior. Mm-hmm. He's got to be number one. And she said, you have no idea how relieving that is Yeah. to hear that. Mm. Because too many people say that, you know, I'm, I'm going to be committed to our relationship. I'm all in for our relationship. Right. Because that's great. How's your relationship with God? Though? Mm, it's a good word. And it's, and it's been the one of the best things that's happened is that we've really found that connection. And, you know, oh, you don't necessarily, you know, finding that connection and letting people understand that this is important to you. Yeah. That God's important to you. And you want this, it, you want this more than just something physical. Mm-hmm. Yes, you might be attracted to said person. Yes, you know, you might think they're pretty. Or handsome, or whatever, mm-hmm. right? You like how that's they a good smile. thing. It, yeah. It's a good thing. You have, I mean, yeah. that's, God wired you yeah, for God a connection. Wired. Like it's not a bad thing to feel that way, but absolutely not. Yeah, and it's great to feel that way. But it's so, especially and you, and hearing it, the other person hearing it, is so relieving to hear mm-hmm. that you're not just about the attraction. You're yeah. about the longevity of actually building a relationship mm-hmm. and getting connected. It's like it's like a Bro, bro relationship, mm-hmm. right? Bromance, bromance, right? You, you're not in it because even though Cody's a good-looking guy, oh, thank you, right? I'm not gonna go on a date with Cody. Riley's but like, a pretty sexy stud himself. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not gonna go on dates, but we're gonna continue building our relationship. Yeah, you know, where again, the iron shepherd's iron mentality, mm. it also applies not to maybe the same caliber in different aspects, but mm. it applies to your romantic relationships just as as much because you want to be the you want this has been always my goal right i will always my goal in life is to make right in our romantic relationship between emmy and i is emmy is the best person she can be when she's around me or when i'm not around her but we our relationship has helped her strengthen in her faith uh, and her walk with christ right and at the same time has made her a better person. And same, and she said the same for me. She wants to make it where I'm a better person because of her influence mm. in my life. And it's it's an amazing connection. I know it takes, some people get worried about that, about not finding the one, but it's okay. You know, there's no, it, you know, to make a beautiful sculpture, it takes time. You don't yeah. want to rush, right? You never want to rush whatever you're doing in a project, anything. You want to make it perfect in the details. Yeah. Right? And it's the same thing. If, if you trust in God, God will put the timing. He'll put mm. that person in your life. And I'm, okay. I'm just so blessed that Emmy is is definitely the person in my life. Yeah, that's so good. And I, and I love how you just brought it all back to Scripture. Um, just, you know, Proverbs 27 again, mm-hmm. where like, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Mm-hmm. And that, because I've always heard it in like, you know, the team mentality mm-hmm. or like, you know, brothers um, mentality, but like, to put that into the context of a romantic relationship, I think really exemplifies the heart of it, at least as, you know, scripture talks about it and as God sees it, is like, hey, this is first and foremost a friendship. Mm-hmm. And we've learned to put different labels on it to like help clarify like what this is like, you know, socially, mm-hmm. that we're kind of thinking about marriage and and especially like in a Christian relationship, you know, really thinking about the prospect of marriage. And it's like, those labels are helpful, but what it really is is friendship. And it's like two people, you know, not man and man like two bros but like you know two people walking through life together sharpening one another and the sculpture that you talked about it's like yeah you're literally chiseling away 
the rough edges. And I think you're really using your relationship with God to do that for each other because mm-hmm. you're not only encouraging one another in the faith, but you're, you know, you do have that element of correction because there's points where it's like, yeah, I've got stuff to work on. And, you know, if there's something that I do that is hurtful to anybody, it's probably going to be most hurtful to the person who loves me most, right. who cares about me most. So they have the greatest incentive of all to point you back to scripture, to point you back to the truth and what, you know, the Lord says about how we should live our lives and how mm-hmm. we should conduct ourselves in relationship with one another. Um, and, and that's really, really big. And I just, I love, I mean, y'all's relationship. Like, I'm just like shipping y'all like 175% because y'all are like super cute. And like, I don't know, I take a little bit credit and making it happen. Just, yeah. you know, eh, it's, it's all right. It's what it is. <laughs> but, uh, Dang, it, it's just, it's just so good to see to see y'all, and I think especially in College Station, like I've been really blessed to see tons of God honoring relationships and tons of examples um, of people pursuing Christ and one another with just a hundred and ten percent effort, but also through that realizing that there's not one cookie cutter way to do it. Exactly. You know, a, a Christian dating relationship, you know, you put more labels on it, but that doesn't make it any more, you know specific in just like the basic sense of like what kind of dates do we go on or like what what kind of things can we talk about and stuff like that it's like you are just going at it from a different perspective Mm -hmm. you know there's no extra added performance that you have to do to make sure that it's a christian dating relationship as opposed to a dating relationship as opposed to a friendship because really all three of those can be one in the same they can yeah you know and and they all can honor the lord Mm -hmm. which is really really big and i think the biggest misconception that i've had at least like you know in my own personal walk is like man i need another person to be able to glorify the Lord better, you know, Mm -hmm. that if I don't have this relationship, if I'm not marked by it, then it's like, then there's something missing, you know, there's something lacking, but it's like Christ fills that gap better than any other person here on earth could ever do. 